first reading, Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 31 to 34. Look, the days are coming, Yahweh declares, when I shall make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah, comma, but not like the covenant I made with their ancestors the day I took them by the hand to bring them out of Egypt, a covenant which they broke, even though I was their master, Yahweh declares, no, this is the covenant I shall make with the house of Israel when those days have come, Yahweh declares. Within them I shall plant my law, writing it on their hearts. Then I shall be their God, and they will be my people. There will be no further need for everyone to teach neighbor or brother, saying, Learn to know Yahweh. No, they will all know me, from the least to the greatest, Yahweh declares, since I shall forgive their guilt and never more call their sin to mind. Responsorial Psalm, Psalms chapter 51 verse 12 to 13, 14 to 15, 18 to 19, Give me back the joy of your salvation, sustain in me a generous spirit, I shall teach the wicked your paths, and sinners will return to you, deliver me from bloodshed, God, God of my salvation, and my tongue will acclaim your saving justice, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will speak out your praise. In your graciousness do good to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, then you will delight in upright sacrifices. Burnt offerings and whole oblations, and young bulls will be offered on your altar. Gospel, Matthew chapter 16 verse 13 to 23 When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he put this question to his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. But you, he said, who do you say I am? Then Simon Peter spoke up and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus replied, Simon son of Jonah, you are a blessed man. Because it was no human agency that revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. So I now say to you, you are Peter and on this rock I will build my community. And the gates of the underworld can never overpower it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then he gave the disciples strict orders not to say to anyone that he was the Christ. From then onwards Jesus began to make it clear to his disciples that he was destined to go to Jerusalem and suffer grievously at the hands of the elders and chief priests and scribes and to be put to death, and to be raised up on the third day. Then, taking him aside, Peter started to rebuke him. Heaven preserve you, Lord, he said, this must not happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle in my path, because you are thinking, not as God thinks, but as human beings do. 